If you see a leak in the very front of your car, chances are it is your radiator. The fastest way to confirm your radiator or any part of your cooling system is leaking is to top it off and pressurize the system. Or you can just close the radiator and let the car run and build pressure in the system naturally from heating up. But this way is definitely faster and I can already hear water pouring out before I could even get it to 10 psi. Now this is a big leak and I already know the radiator is leaking. But if the leak is small, pay close attention to the seam where plastic meets the radiator core. Plastic tanks also crack. Also inspect area around the radiator hoses, upper and lower, but in our case the leak is coming from one of the core tubes, right there. And if we look at the radiator while it's still in the car, right there behind the fans we can see a nice little puddle of coolant, which is enough evidence for me to condemn the radiator. Replacing the radiator usually is a fairly simple job. For this car, all we're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet with a 10 and a 12 millimeter socket, and pliers. Even though not absolutely necessary, channel lock and flexible cable pliers can definitely make your job easier. Since this car is sitting so low to the ground, I'm going to use some car ramps to raise it up. Now I'm going to find a drain valve, place a pan under it and open it. Finding a drain valve usually is pretty intuitive. In our case we have a drain plug that gets removed with a Phillips screwdriver. But let's say you can't find a drain valve. You can always disconnect the lower radiator hose, which is a faster but messier way to drain your coolant. To speed up the draining process we can open the radiator cap as we're waiting for the coolant level to drop we start disconnecting stuff from the top of the radiator and work our way towards the bottom. First goes the overflow bottle hose, then disconnect the upper radiator hose, squeeze the clamp and move it out of the way, then twist the radiator hose to break it free from the radiator and pull it off. If you have an automatic transmission, you may also have transmission cooler lines going into the radiator that will need to be disconnected. In this example, a special tool is needed that would fit over the line and when you push it into the fitting, you can disconnect the line from it, like this. But this car has a manual transmission, so no cooler lines to disconnect. And the next thing I'm going to do is disconnect the lower radiator hose. Since the hose clamp is kind of hard to get to, I'm going to use cable pliers. Squeeze the clamp and break the hose free from the radiator. Disconnect the radiator fans and move the wiring harness out of the way. If you have a plastic cover over the radiator, don't let that confuse you. Just take all the push pins out and the cover will come right out, giving you access to pretty much the same picture as we have right here. Next, we're going to remove the radiator mounting brackets. One and two. But the radiator still doesn't want to come out. If you look right here, the condenser for the AC system is bolted to the radiator. And it sits right in front of the radiator. And there's the second bolt. So let's remove those two. The radiator is moving around a little more but something is still holding it. And if we look right here through the bumper, we can see that there is another bolt holding the condenser in place, coming from the other side. One 
and there is another one right there so I was trying to keep the fans on the radiator to remove them together as one assembly but it seems like now I'm gonna have to take them out to get to those two bolts fortunately these fans are bolted to the radiator only at the top so they're fairly easy to remove if you have an engine mounted fan like this you will have a fan shroud around it bolted to the radiator remove those bolts and you'll be able to move the fan shroud back far enough for the radiator to clear it and now back to our car with the fans out of the way we can get access to the last two bolts one and two and now the radiator is completely free and ready to come out now we can tilt it to drain the leftover coolant from it next important thing to do is to compare the new radiator to the old one make sure all the fittings outlets mounts are in the same exact place it is not that uncommon for aftermarket radiators to be a little off some nuts or clips may have to be switched over always check the bottom make sure the drain plug is installed nice and tight automatic transmission cooler line fittings are nice and snug and make sure you're not missing the bushings the radiator fits in sometimes they get stuck to the old radiator and come out of the car with it so make sure to put them back now is also a good time to replace the radiator hoses and the thermostat while there is no coolant in the system clean up the area and put the new radiator in it's okay to wiggle it and move things out of the way but don't force it in and definitely don't pry on it with a screwdriver for installation reverse the removal procedure get all the bolts started in pairs by hand before tightening them to make sure all the holes line up while the fans are out of the way I'm also going to install the lower radiator hose if you're reusing the old hoses it is a good idea to place the clamp in the exact same spot where it was before next go the fans and again I'm installing all the bolts by hand to make sure all the holes line up before I tighten everything up next go the upper condenser bolts install them by hand and tighten them up and very important don't forget to plug your radiator fans back in until they click next go the upper mounting brackets tighten them up and install the upper radiator hose next goes the overflow bottle hose and all we have left is to fill up the cooling system with new coolant and it is a good idea to use a new radiator cap and this is how you change a radiator in your car if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up share your experience and feedback in the comments below thank you for watching good luck and take care